Hi, Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Please go to facebook.com slash technologies. Like my page so that you can get all the latest information regarding my company and also SQL accounting system. As promised, in today's lesson, I will show you SQL accounting system, general ledger module, bank reconciliation. To do bank reconciliation, normally is when you get the bank statement. Before you go into the system and do the bank reconciliation, please check whether there is any bank charges. If there is any bank charges, just go to GL, cash book entry, new, select a payment voucher, just put in bank charges, maybe for new checkbook. Then just select the bank charges account, key in the amount will do. So it will appear in your bank reconciliation. When you want to do a bank reconciliation, remember you must start with the first month from your accounting system. Let's say you are starting in January, you are, you are keying in transaction from January until December onwards. The bank reconciliation must start from January. Okay, to do a bank reconciliation, select the bank statement date according to the actual statement. Select the bank account. Date should be the same or you can put anything before this. So let's say there are unpresented or uncredited check from previous month. It will show together. You can put like this also. Then you should click the first two options. Show untake transaction meaning any transaction or any check that have not cleared will show up. If you do not click this option, all the check even you have take it will show up. So it will be very messy for you to do checking later. The second option show current recon transaction is when you take the check then it will not disappear. It's easier for you to do checking later. So after set this, just apply. All the unclear check will be show up. Then you click at edit. SQL analytics to compare with others, there's a so-called unique feature is over here. What you need to do is you just key in the actual bank balance from the actual statement. For example, 450. Then you just take accordingly to the actual bank statement. So let's say it's clear, you just take, then take. And you can see that out of the balance by will keep on changing as you take. And after you finish taking, out of balance must be zero. If not zero, then there's something wrong with your bank reconciliation. You cannot continue until you rectify the problem. Meaning that, let's say you are doing for the, uh, September, you cannot continue with the October bank reconciliation if our balance still got fit inside here. So you just save, then your bank reconciliation is done. To view a bank reconciliation report, just click at the preview button and it will show. So this will show you the actual bank balance for this month. Then uncredited check and unprecedented check will also show up. I always tell customer this bank reconciliation report is more accurate than your actual bank. Meaning that even you call to bank, bank tell you that your bank balance is uh, 5,000. But there will no there's any uncredited check or unprecedented check. So when you look at this report, it is more accurate than calling a bank. Just to share with you, unprecedented check is the check that you pay to your supplier, but 
you do not know whether it's clear or not from this month bank statement uncredited check is the check that you bank in maybe payment from your customer and have not cleared so this is your GL balance for the bank okay so for the opening for bank reconciliation you can refer back to my previous video in maintain opening balance so this is all for today for bank reconciliation anything you can call me i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you